Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to this video with me, your boy FIFA Wonder HD. This squad builder, we are going to be looking at a pace and power team that's filled with quick players that are incredibly strong and that have really good attributes for the positions that they're playing in. Now, before we get into the squad, it would mean a great deal to me if you would leave a like. Comment below if you think that I've missed anyone out or you've used any sort of strong pacey players that are really, really good. Always interested to hear your views below. And subscribe. It means that I can keep doing these videos if you subscribe. Helps out the channel immensely and is always really appreciated. So we're going to kick off in goal with just a really good goalkeeper, basically. Not someone that particularly matters. Uh, because of the, the pace and strength, doesn't really matter in that area. But Courtois, a very, very solid goalkeeper, would really, really recommend him. So he's going to put this on Prem, and then we're going to go for Nyom. You could quite easily go for Walker, although not as strong. Walker is a pretty decent, decent option. He's got more pace than Nyom. Nyom, though, has 87 strength, and he's a cheaper option currently. Very, very good. So strong. Good going forward. Really, really like using him. At centre-back, we have a very strong and fast pairing of Richards and Okore. These guys are fantastic. Phenomenal defenders. You know, they've got good defending stats between them. But the pace and the power could not be exemplified more in a partnership like this. You know, both have 90 strength. And they're no slouches either. 76 pace for Richards and 81 for Akure. Throw in decent defending and the strength and you have a brick wall that can chase you all over the park. They're great in both boxes in the air. Really, really recommend using them. And they're not too expensive either. These two, very, very good indeed. At left back, a little bit more of a struggle to be honest. You could go for Enrique or Olsen. Those guys are both, you know, they have higher strength. But I'm going to go for Barba. I think he fits the brief a little bit more. There's not many great left backs in the BPL so far this year in Ultimate Team. And Barba, he's got decent strength. 71 isn't terrible. And he's got great pace, good dribbling, good defending. I think overall he's a better option. If you wanted to be more strength-wise, you could go for either Olsen or Enrique, like I said. But Barba, very good indeed. At CDM, this is the anchor of the team and needs to be probably the, the most strongest player in the team, which he is, which is Wanyama. Everyone liked him last year and again this year he is the same. Great with interceptions, great in the air, super strong. An absolute rock. Yeah, he doesn't have the pace that some of these, but in that anchor CDM, Claude Makaleli role of old, he is brilliant. He sits there in front of the back four, sweeps up everything, and with that physicality, 92 strength, that defending, you know, he's going to win pretty much everything. And when he does, he's got decent dribbling, a decent range of passing to get the ball to the players who can really affect the game. Now, one of those is this man, Wayne Rooney, who I think is incredible. I absolutely love Wayne Rooney's card. He was fantastic last year. And this year, for me, he's even better. Because let's be honest, guys. FIFA 16, the passing is harder. But when you've got a player like this in your team with the range of passing that he has and the dribbling, the pace, he makes playing FIFA 16 so easy. The assists and the goals that this guy gets is incredible. Really, really recommend him. And if you're thinking about buying Rooney, no matter whether you're playing him at central midfield, cam, centre forward, striker... Wherever you play him up there, he will do you a fantastic job. He's brilliant. So, so good. Can't recommend him highly enough. He comes with 85 strength, so he fits the mould brilliantly. And what I was saying about players who not only have a bit of pace and good strength, he also has the dribbling, the shooting. He's shooting both long and close range. Very, very good. And quite similar, in fact, to the next guy, who I do need to... Um, 
actually bring to a uh, central midfield because he's currently a cam. Uh, just bring him up now, which is Suzoko. But this guy is top notch. Absolute top dollar. He's a cheap Yaya Toure, an absolute tank. Great pace. Great all round stats. All Everything he can do. Defensively, attacking wise. And he plays so well in game. And he also has 86 strength. So fits the brief absolutely perfectly. At left wing, we have Bakary Sacco. Again, it's similar to Sissoko in, in, in a way that he can do quite a lot of everything. You know, he's very, very good. He can go down the wing, put a good ball in, or he can use his dribbling and his pace to cut inside. He can knock players off the ball, shrug players off. Very, very good all-rounder. He comes with 83 strength. Really good player. I like Sacco a lot. Very similar to this guy. Ever popular in FIFA Ultimate Team, which is a Barbo. Great pace, fantastic pace, good dribbling, and he's got 83 strength as well. Really, really good. Fits the brief again, you know, the criteria for that position with that pace, with that power, fantastic. And it just leads to pure destruction. Finally, we have Lukaku up top. There are stronger strikers than Lukaku in uh, Ultimate Team this year. But let's be honest, he's not lacking with 90 strength. And then when you throw in everything else, he's so clinical. He wins balls in the air, holds it up really well. And he shrugs defenders off. Like the amount of uh, tackles he's made high up the pitch where he's just you know, muscled off a defender and created a chance for himself or others. Or, or just even winning the ball higher up the pitch to allow you to move and create an attack. This guy is fantastic. Really love using him. And obviously that pace and power makes him very, very deadly indeed. So that was my pace and power team. Filled with players who are good in their position. But also have that pace. And most importantly that strength. That I think is key in FIFA 16. A really, really effective team overall. That is, you know, quite relatively priced as well. To be quite honest. So I hope you enjoyed the video guys. Like I said, if you do, please leave a like. Leave your comments below, hit the subscribe button and peace.